Halloween makeup look here. It's just really simple, easy, and I use all makeup products as well, so there's nothing like really Halloween and fancy or anything like that. And I'm actually working with the Body Shop on this video, so I am using all of the Body Shop's makeup products. So all of the products that I'm using you will find down in the description box below, and also the Body Shop link as well will be down below too. I really wanted to create like a makeup look that's just simple, because I see like a lot of different ones, and I've done a few things in the past where they're quite complex, and it takes you to really, really practice and stuff. Whereas this one is something that like, if you were really running late in Halloween and had no idea, this is something that you could just go as, you only need, like you pretty much only need like an eyeliner, um, a foundation, you don't even really need foundation, highlighting products and maybe a couple of like bronzy eyeshadows and that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, if you want to see how to get this kind of like leopard cat Halloween makeup look, just keep watching. Oh and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and let me know if you want to see any more kind of quick and easy Halloween makeup looks, even though it's Halloween in like a few days but oh well. <laughs> So the very first thing I'm doing is taking this Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation in the shade Sahara Light 030 and what I'm doing with this is taking it on this Body Shop brush. This brush is so soft, it worked amazingly with this foundation. This foundation has quite a natural coverage but I didn't want my skin to look really flawless for this look because obviously leopards have like really like irregular kind of printed on their skin so I didn't want to look completely just like flat so I wanted to kind of keep my natural skin kind of seeping through and I just kind of buffed it in with that brush and yeah I really really love this foundation it gives such a natural coverage and felt really like light and like healthy and stuff on my skin and then here I'm just taking the Body Shop's eyebrow kit and this comes with a little brush as well and you can also use these powders as eyeliners too um, but what I'm doing is just taking a mix of both shades together and just filling in my brows. I barely even touched my eyebrows because I did have them recently tinted and stuff so they didn't really need much work done to them. So I just kind of went in and filled in like little sparse areas and just kind of tidied them up a wee bit. And then what I'm doing is going back in with that foundation again on this little brush also from the body shop and using this to carve out underneath my brows just to make them look a little bit more neater and a little bit more structured and stuff. For my transition colour for my eyeshadow, I'm using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in 03 and this bronzer is so gorgeous. It was worked so well as an eyeshadow and then I'm also taking this little fluffy blending brush also from the Body Shop and what I'm doing is just buffing this right into my crease. I wanted to keep the eye look quite simple because obviously this is for beginners so I wanted to make sure that everyone was able to achieve it. So I just took this bronzer and just applied it right through my crease and then I went in with a more kind of darker matte shade also from the Body Shop and applied it into my outer corners just to kind of make it look a little bit more smoky and stuff. Um, but obviously you can go with any colour eyeshadow but I just think kind of more brown warm tones worked really well for this look. And then for my actual lid shade I took this nice bronzy colour also from the body shop in the shade Bronze Bliss and this colour is so gorgeous. I just took my finger and packed this onto kind of like the first third of my lid and then I went in with a more light kind of golden colour and applied this into my inner corner just as my highlighter. I'm just taking the Super Volume Mascara also from the Body Shop and just applying this on my lashes. Again, I didn't apply any lashes to this look because I wanted to make it look quite like undone and obviously leopards aren't like perfect so I did want to apply like big dramatic lashes and then it's starting to look a little bit more like not Halloween so I just want to keep it like simple and just on mascara but obviously if you're feeling it you could obviously apply like big dramatic lashes if you wanted. So what I'm doing here is just taking that honey bronzer again also from the body shop and just applying this on my cheekbones and around my temples just anywhere where I was going to apply the little kind of prints under my skin and then here I'm taking these radiance balls also from the body shop and these were so gorgeous and I used the little sponge that it came with and just kind of sponged this under my skin just to kind of get a little bit more extra glow and something happened to my camera here I don't know what the hell happened but it looks like really like faded for some reason but what I'm doing is just taking the little sponge it comes with and just kind of bouncing it onto my skin and it just made it look so glowy and radiant it looked amazing. And then I also took this little fan brush also from the body shop and just applied this kind of more onto my cheekbones as well. It's like an actual highlighter. For 
the prints I'm taking the skinny thin felt eyeliner also from the body shop and for this part you're literally just doing like little C shapes and you don't want to make it look too perfect you kind of just want to go like wherever you want with this and I just done wee small ones bigger ones and then I kind of just made them a little bit messy by doing like a few wee dots in between and I pretty much done this on one side of my face and then I was like actually I might as well do it on the other side as well so I did it on like both sides of my face and I thought it looked really nice and again this is so easy to recreate just get yourself like an eyeliner pen and do it and it works so well and then here what I'm doing is just doing like a little nose thing I don't know whether I kind of done the nose a little bit too small and then I was like actually I need to make it bigger so I kind of extended the nose a little bit and then I also done like little whiskers and then done like little wee whiskers like coming out of my eyes as well which is so random but I just wanted to add a little bit more detail to it so it looks like you actually put the effort into it. I then took the darkening and lightening drops from the body shop and these are so cool. These are actually meant for kind of darkening and lightening your foundation but I use them as like little shader drops for the little prints of my skin. So I mixed them both together to make this like medium tone brown just to add a little bit more detail and then I actually went in with the white one as well and kind of filled in some and I think just adding all these little like final touches makes it look a little bit more presentable and looks more to like as if you put more time into it as well. So as you can see here I'm just going in with the white one and just adding a little bit more detail to them. So for my lips I took that eyeliner pen again and this is actually such a versatile product and it actually worked really well as like a lip product. Um, what I done was just fill in my top lip and then just kind of smudged it onto the bottom one and then I used their new liquid lipsticks and these are so good, they smell amazing and they're so blendable and smooth on the lips but they also last a really long time. I used this one in the shade Windsor Rose and it's just like a really nice matte kind of nude colour. They feel so smooth and amazing. You guys should definitely check them out and they're only £6 which is so good and they come in a variety of different shades as well. And then this step is optional but I did take a gold eyeshadow also from the body shop of course and just applied it into the centre of my lip and I just kind of gave that metallic look and I thought it looked really nice. something really quick and easy and something that you could go for if you're running late or I don't know have like zero ideas for Halloween because I know it can be really hard kind of coming up with an idea especially if you're like leaving everything to the last minute like I always do. So again all products, the links, everything and stuff will be down below in the description box below. I love you guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye!